Hello auto lovers, welcome back to Auto Universe channel, we hope you guys in good health. Today we gonna show you 2023 Nissan Pathfinder walk around and review and explain the details of the car, we hope you guys enjoy it. Please don't forget to subscribe for more videos, thanks for watching. 2023 Nissan Pathfinder starting at $36,535. With a spacious cabin that has room for up to eight people, the 2023 Nissan Pathfinder is ready and reporting for family transportation duty. It's quiet inside and it delivers a smooth ride that will be appreciated on both long road trips and daily commutes. A V6 engine is mated to an 8-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive, all-wheel drive is optional and gives the Pathfinder some off-road capability, although it won't touch a Jeep or a Bronco on the trail. The Pathfinder can tow, too. Its 6,000 pounds of towing capability bests rivals such as the Hyundai Palisade, the Kia Telluride, and the Toyota Highlander. What's new for 2023? Nissan is adding a rugged Rock Creek model to the Pathfinder lineup for 2023. It sports a slightly lifted suspension, 18-inch all-terrain tires on unique wheels, a revised front grille and lower bumper, and standard all-wheel drive. The V6 gets a power boost in the Rock Creek model to 295 horsepower. The Rock Creek's interior differs from the regular Pathfinder with special cloth and vinyl upholstery, orange stitching, and Rock Creek badges on the seats and center console. Although Nissan is equipping the S and SV Pathfinders with desirable driver assistance features, we'd recommend going for the more expensive SL trim if it fits your budget. Stepping up from the SV adds the larger 9.0-inch infotainment system, a 360-degree camera system, and wireless Apple CarPlay connectivity. Adding the SL Premium package for $2,900 makes the Pathfinder downright luxurious with 20-inch wheels, a panoramic sunroof, a Bose stereo system, heated rear seats, and wireless smartphone charging. That package also includes all the items needed to unlock the Pathfinder's 6,000-pound towing capacity. Engine, transmission, and performance. While the Pathfinder retains the 3.5-liter V6 from the previous generation model, it drops the continuously variable automatic transmission CDT, in favor of a new 9-speed automatic. The V6 makes 284 horsepower in most models but is cranked up to 295 in the Rock Creek trim. Front-wheel drive is standard, but all trims can be equipped with all-wheel drive. Upgrading to the all-wheel drive system also adds a set of seven drive modes, including off-road focus sand and mud slash rut model. Sometimes I get so mad there's no control in me, my thoughts get so bad I'm like... At our test track, our front-wheel drive Pathfinder SL test vehicle got to 60 miles per hour in 6.7 seconds, the model with all-wheel drive managed it in 6.6 seconds. Those results mean the all-wheel drive Pathfinder is quicker than the Kia Telluride and the Toyota Highlander. Handling is utterly forgettable and not in the least entertaining, but the Pathfinder's ride is fairly smooth, and Nissan's attention to sound deadening elements makes the cabin extra quiet when cruising. Interior, Comfort, and Cargo The Pathfinder sports a modern and truck-like interior design with comfortable front seats and well-placed controls. Three rows of seating can accommodate up to eight riders, but buyers can choose to swap the standard second-row bench seat for captain's chairs, a desirable feature in a family crossover that reduce capacity to seven. Nissan has integrated storage cubbies throughout the cabin, including a large bin below the center console that's accessible by the driver or front seat passenger. Upper trim levels come appropriately decked out with luxuries such as semi-aniline leather upholstery, heated and ventilated front seats, and a panoramic sunroof. Infotainment and Connectivity An 8.0-inch infotainment touchscreen is standard and runs the latest version of the Nissan Connect software interface, a larger 9.0-inch display is standard on the SL and Platinum models. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are both standard and the former can be synced wirelessly on upper trims. A 12.3-inch digital gauge display, an onboard Wi-Fi hotspot, a wireless smartphone charging pad, Sirius XM satellite radio, a head-up display, and an in-dash navigation system are all optional features. 